Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have another very fun problem for you guys today. Uh, this one, um, on the Art of Problem Solving Forum, it says it's from the Brazil Math Olympiad, uh, and it was posted in 2011. So not too much information there, but um, just something to note. Um, so if you'd like to um, give it a shot, feel free to pause the video. All right, so we have a triangle uh, ABC, uh, H is the orthocenter, um, the lines BH and CH meet sides AC and AB at D and E, um, the circumcircle of ADE um, meets the circumcircle of ABC at point F, and we want to show that the angle bisectors of BFC and BHC concur at a point on BC. Okay. Um, so this, I found it to be probably one of the simpler problems that I've posted on my channel. Maybe even the simplest, although I don't know if I would go that far, but it's possible. Um, although I guess everyone probably has a different opinion on it. Um, so what does it mean if the angle bisectors of BFC and BHC concur at a point on BC? Well, if the angle bisector of BFC met BC at a point X, for example, then that would mean we'd have BF over BC is BX over XC. And similarly, if the angle bisector of BHC met BC at a point Y, then BH over HC would be BY over YC. So if we can show that X and Y are actually the same point, that would mean that BF over FC um, is equal to BH over HC. And if you notice, uh, triangle BHE and triangle CHD are similar. So BH over HC is actually BE over CD. Um, so really we want to show that um, FB over FC is EB over DC. And that leads us to think, hmm, maybe we want to show that triangle FEB is similar to triangle FDC. And so that's the approach I'm going to take here. Okay, so we want to show that triangle FEB is similar to triangle FDC. And first we start out by finding one angle that's equal. So this narrow angle, angle FBE is equal to angle FBA, which is angle FCA, which is equal to angle FCD. So one of the three pairs of angles is equal. Now we're going to show angle FEB is equal to angle FDC. Okay, and that's a fairly straightforward angle chase. So I'm, I'm just going to draw on those two angles. Um, but we know that angle FEB is 180 minus FEA, and that's 180 minus FDA, because um, these points all lie in a circle, and that's uh, equal to angle FDC. Um, so one thing... Um, it, so it says the circumcircle of ADE in the problem, and it happens that it passes through H, but I don't even think we use that fact um, throughout this problem. So I'm not even going to try to prove it, although it's it's fairly trivial. Um, so if you want, you can try to figure that out. Okay. Um, so... Um, if I if, if I do end up actually needing it, it's cyclic because um, angle HEA is 90 degrees and angle HDA is 90 degrees, so AEHD has to be cyclic. Okay. So we have enough information here. Now we've shown that um, two of the pairs of angles are equal because uh, FBE is FCD and uh, FEB is FDC, so that means the two triangles are similar. FEB and FDC are similar triangles, and so therefore we have the ratio FB over FC is EB over DC. Um, or said another way, FB over FC, the, two, the ratio of the two longer sides of the triangles equal to the ratio of the two middle sides in this figure. So that's FB over FC is EB over DC. And like I mentioned before, we know triangles EHB and DHC are similar. So EB over DC is actually HB over HC. Um, so this is what I just said. 
uh, BHC, BHE, BHC are similar. So EB over DC is HB over HC. And then you could just use transitivity here. So FB over FC is HB over HC by transitivity. And then we're basically there because, um, for example, I didn't draw in the angle bisectors, but if we let the angle bisector um, of angle BFC meet the side BC at a point X, then X would cut by the angle bisector theorem, uh, FB over FC would be BX over XC. So basically, this is the ratio that X cuts BC in. And if the angle bisector of BHC hit BC at Y, this, by the same argument, would be the ratio that Y cuts the segment BC in. So, that, so basically, that means that the angle bisectors of BFC and BHC have to cut BC into the same ratio because these are the two ratios that, that it cuts them into by the angle bisector theorem. And if they cut BC in the same ratio, then it's pretty clear they have to be the same point. Because um, if, if, if two points cut, cut a segment in the same ratio, uh, clearly they have to be the same point. And so the angle bisectors of BFC and BHC concur on C, concur on BC. So this was a, a fun little one. I don't think anyone, I don't know if anyone on the forum had my same solution. It seems like such a simple solution, so maybe they did. Um, but it's interesting to see the variety of approaches. Some use projective geometry, some reflected some points. So it's, it's kind of fun to check it out. Um, and if you have any other ideas, yeah, feel free to post them in the comments. Um, so if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone.